Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. was shooting her husband over accusations that he molested children at the daycare center she owns will remain in jail in Washington, D.C. This morning, a judge ordered Shantari Weems stay behind bars ahead of her next court date, which is in August. Now, we told you last week that Weems was arrested after shooting James Weems Jr., allegedly, in a hotel room in Washington. Her lawyers say she fired in self-defense when she confronted him about those molestation claims. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, he's live in Washington, D.C. He was the only Baltimore television reporter in that courtroom this morning, Mike, which I understand was very emotional. Denise, there was some drama. People were angry about this decision and began yelling at the judge, both in the courtroom and those watching in an online feed. Now, the judge explained essentially that she cannot consider the motive at this phase and that Shantari Weems should not have taken the law into her own hands. An emotional scene outside of the courthouse where friends and family of Shantari Weems comfort each other moments after a judge orders her held without bail. Weems owns a daycare in Baltimore County. She's accused of shooting her husband James Weems Jr. over allegations he was molesting children there. The violent encounter happened in a luxury hotel in Washington, D.C. last week, where Weems, a retired Baltimore City police officer, was on a work trip on a security detail. Regardless of whether or not you feel like what she did was justifiable, she was protecting children. Obviously, she's disappointed. Her attorney, Tony Garcia, argued she shot her husband in self-defense. She was emotionally shattered. And then she went down there asking him what happened. He went from zero to a thousand. He came at her and she had to defend herself. The prosecutor alleges Weems never told police she was scared of her husband. And the judge explained the reason she confronted him is not a factor the court considers. Weems, handcuffed and wearing an orange jail jumpsuit, wept inside the courtroom. Family, including her mother, declined to speak to WJZ. We did obtain an affidavit from the detective who interviewed her. He described a bloody scene. One bullet went through her husband's neck. Another remains lodged in his thigh. Police say Shantaria Weems wrote in a notebook that James Weems is scum. I hope you get beat up in jail. I'm going to paralyze you. And I want these kids to get justice. My only regret is that I didn't put the bullet in your head. She apologized to her babies at the daycare, writing that she did not know about the abuse. Being behind bars and taking your freedom from you is hell. And right now, James Weems remains in custody here in Washington. We're told that Baltimore County Police are going to pick him up on Monday and bring him back to Maryland to face justice. He is facing at least three charges of molesting children at the daycare. Reporting live at Superior Court in Washington, Mike Helgren, WJZ.